Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to be making some inserts for our small Wanderlust Traveler's Notebook. This is the cover that we made in the last video. So we made the covers and we embellished front and back. We didn't do anything to the inside, but um, we did put the elastics in. So we could actually potentially put four uh, inserts, Traveler's Notebook inserts, in there. So, but today I think we're going to do two inserts. One's going to be a notebook and I think one's going to be like a storage thing. I think that's what we're going to do. So if you want to see how we made these covers, there is a link down below in the show more slash description box <laughs> that is a playlist specifically for this uh, album. And we are going to be using the, or we are using the Prima Flirty Fleur paper collection that came out in the summer, whether June, July, somewhere around there. And the playlist for this will actually be named uh, Wanderlust Flirty Fleur. This is the small size. And it will go from beginning to end, depending on where you start watching these videos. So it will actually show you the intro to this template, which if you've already seen that, you just skip right over that. That'll be the first video in that playlist. And then the next one will be the covers. So if you're interested uh, as well in my templates, there'll be a link down below to my Etsy shop where I sell these templates. So if you want to check those out, just hit that link down below. Um, and there'll also be links down below to any and all products that I use, whether it be an Amazon link or um, some scrapbooking stores, that kind of thing. Those are all down there below. If you want to check out the products, the Amazon list is the most comprehensive one because it really has everything I use. The paper trimmers, the scissors, the scoreboards, all of that um, are in those lists. And the Amazon list, for example, will actually be named uh, Flirty Fleur, Wonderless Flirty Fleur. So, or Flirty Fleur Wonderless, one of the two. <laughs> so it's easy to find. So if you want to know what I'm using in this, um, in this video series, that's probably the best place to go if you just want to check out the products or what have you. But the templates, the printable templates, are only available in my Etsy shop. So, alrighty. So let me show you what we need uh, from the templates. Oh, and and once again, I am using a kit from Maidacon. It. Um, I taught a class in Maidacon, and this is one of the kits. So, but. Even though I'm using a kit, I am actually showing you all the pages. I'm showing you what you need. And you don't have to even use this paper collection. You can use whatever paper collection you want. But it's just more of showing you how to use them, how to use the templates, how to put things together, um, a little bit of designing and embellishing and stuff like that, just giving you ideas. So um, I will show you what's in the kit when I'm using it and then I'll also tell you you know where to get it out of the templates. Does that make sense? I think it does. I hope it does. <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna make two inserts for the first two inserts that go in here and we're working in the small Wonderlust and what we're gonna need are page number nine is the covers for the Traveler's Notebook insert. Now in the kit some of the covers we just literally cut the covers down to size and scored them for them so that we wouldn't waste a whole lot of time in class because believe it or not you know it, it, it two hours is just not that much time so we tried to do some pre-cutting to save time so this is um, the actual traveler's notebook cover we just cut it down so we didn't print this one out but you totally need to print this one out so it's on page nine so you, you, if you want, you can print off the vintage on there, but that's up to you. Either way, but I'm gonna, I am gonna ink this up, so it's not gonna be uh, clean like that. It's gonna be, it's gonna have the distress, distressed edges. <laughs> and then on page, uh, also on page nine, I want you to print out one of the vintage backgrounds. Oh, you might not have the vintage background. Well, I printed out the vintage background. If you have a different background, feel free to use that. I printed that off. This is on 110 pound white cardstock. And then on the back side, I printed that purple. And that one is from my Shades of Color, right? That will also be linked down below. 
and I printed off number 18 on the back side of that so that it would have a color on the back side. And then, like in the last video, I don't know if I left it in the video, but now we need page eight, which is this page right here. We're gonna use some of these pieces, um, and we may end up uh, cutting everything out. Like these two pockets down here, uh, we're gonna be using on the inside of the covers, but we may not do that today. But, um, but anyway, so this is the paper that I cut down to eight and a half by 11, ran it through my printer, and printed page eight um, on here. I didn't, I didn't run this exact page through my printer. I had these professionally printed. However, um, but you would need to run through your printer, you know, cut down to eight and a half by 11, or whatever your printer size is. If you're using an A4, cut your printer or paper down to A4 size. And then when you go to print it, you want to unclick fit to page um, or something of that effect. So you might want to do a, like a little test before you use your actual scrapbooking paper. You do a little test. Cut down a 12 by 12 white cardstock to your A4 size and then run a test. So like on some of them though, you won't see all the tab lines. So don't get worried about that. So do a little test or print first. But as long as you print everything out the exact same way, it's going to work and it's only a smidge smaller than the original itself. So if you're printing off A4, even if you have um, A4 paper at home, like you do your printers normally 8.5 by 11, you, and you have an A4 paper pad, you can print on that as well. You just need to tell your printer that's what you're printing on and you need to do a test print and all of that and cut your paper down to A4 size. All of that jazz. A4 is a little bit narrower and a little bit longer. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to remind you guys of that. So, we are going to be using that page. And I think that's it from the templates right now. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I think, first is I'm going to cut this one out and score it and everything. And, and I'm going to do this one because this one I've already got cut out. So it'll be the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing. Um, we had just pre-cut these out for the class. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and cut this one out and score it so you can see how to do it. And this is a Fiskars Precision Rotary Paper Trimmer. And first I'm gonna cut this long piece off because that purple on the other side could be used for other stuff. So I'm gonna stick this over here in my stash. I don't, want to, I don't want to accidentally lose it. And I'm going to cut this big chunk off over here. I need to clean my paper trimmer, looks like. So this page was also um, in the kit. This was already pre-printed. So this was printed by the um, professional printers. So uh, the, the actual purple is slightly different than my printer prints purple. Um, but since I'm using the kit and all of it's going to be working together, I'm not worried about that. Again, you do not need a kit. Alright, so this is a EK Tools scoreboard. And this is a EK Tools stylus. And I'm just going to... Whoa, don't press so hard. I'm going to score that line. And this line, and that's it. So if you're doing it at home and, and you're printing everything out, you want to do both of them. You want to cut them out and do both of them the same way. Um, score them. And then you want to just go ahead. You don't want to like super burnish. You just kind of want to do a like a little finger press type thing so that we can ink up the edges a little bit. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain. And I'm going to ink the edges front and back for both of these. I, need to, I think I need to put some more ink on my ink and pad. My ink and pad. <laughs> I'm going to ink them front and back and then I will be right back. Okay, so now I've got both of my covers inked front and back. And we're going to put this one aside for now, and we're just going to work on this one. So this one is going to be a notebook. So this is the front cover, so it's going to go like this. This is the front cover, the back cover, and then the little flap here that I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with it, so I'm just going to leave it there. But 
we're going to be using dot grid paper which this is my favorite one right now and if you happen to have the kit you have some provided so this paper is called Rodea or Rodea dot grid paper and um, it's white and then it's got like little gray dots uh, oh look you might be able to see that you see so I'm gonna be using this and I've already ripped out I think there's six pages here yep so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my paper trimmer back out I am going to cut this paper on the long side. I'm going to cut it at Let's see what am I going to cut it at? I'm going to cut it at 5 and 5 and no, I'm going to cut it at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 5 and 7 sixteenths. It's just one sixteenth. It's just a little little hash mark. The little um, hash mark below five and a half hash mark. Little marking, whatever. <laughs> so that's where I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna trim it right there, just like that. And then I'm gonna put this in the paper trimmer again. And oh, I don't have tape. Let's see. Did I, did I get it right on the money? That never happens. Well, almost. So I'm going to scoot it to that one little marking right before. And trim this little bit of a smidgy off. Okay, so then I'm going to pile them on top of each other. And I'm going to put my paper trimmer back up. Actually, I'm going to use it for a second. I'm going to pile those back up. And then I'm going to use my paper trimmer uh, as leverage here. And I'm going to fold them in half like that just like that that might be a little wasteful but we'll see so then this should be almost the exact height of this notebook but we're gonna have to trim some of that away which is totally fine so what you want to do now is clip these suckers Let's clip these suckers. Clip this together. And if you have the kit, you have some purple paper clips. I can't find what I did with mine. I'll grab some out of my drawer. You have purple paper clips. I like the ones that are coated for this um, so that they don't mark up the paper. But you do whatever. So you want to clip it all together like that so that it doesn't move. And then you want to take a pokey tool. And this is a Tim Holtz Tonic Studio paper piercer, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm going to poke right in the center. We're just going to do a real quick little stitch. We've done this a million times. The fastest way to put together a little book, to sew together a little book. So I put three hoes, one, two, three. And then, again, if you have a kit, there's metal pieces, I don't need those right now. You have a needle and thread, but I'm not gonna open that needle and thread right now. I'm gonna just use mine that I have sitting here on my table and I just threw my needle. Awesome. Did anybody see where my needle went? There it is. So I just have a really long needle here. It doesn't matter what you use. Use what, use what you have. And this is just crochet thread. So I should have provided in that kit, I should have provided enough for all the books that we're making in here. Uh, but if not, um, it's not hard to find uh, some thread. You can just use regular thread. You could use uh, wax linen thread. You could use whatever you want. You could use, uh, what's that called? Uh, floss, not floss. Um, <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Embroidery floss. There we go. You could use that. <laughs> Whew. 
Okay, so now I'm going to just start in the middle in the center and come out to the outside there and go down to the bottom hole or top, whatever, however you want to look at it. And then pull that back there a little bit. Go back up to the top. Come back outside the spine and then go back into the center. I hope you guys can see that. Go back in the center. But I feel like I've done this so many times. Y'all are probably like, okay, Jen, move on. Okay. So you want one string on either side of this one that goes all the way across. So you want to tug this way, you want to tug this way, and then you want to knot it. These are so fast to make. And I'm going to go three times, even though you don't need three times. And you can leave these tails. Some people like to put little pieces um, of die cuts or things like that on the little tails. It's, it's cute. Okay, so I'm going to take those paper clips off. And then I'm going to fold this and I'm going to burnish it just a little bit. My bone folder. This is a Teflon bone folder. So now I'm really going to give it a good burnish. Flip it one way, flip it the other, flip it back. Whoa, snap, snap. I'm going to ink that thread just a little bit. Okay, so now to get rid of this excess paper. I think what I'm going to do, well, I'm actually, since I've got this fold on here, let's see how good I did unfolding it. Hmm. I might mark it with my pencil. Here, that's what we're going to do. Let's try something different. I'm just going to mark it with my pencil here like this, right up next to the cover. Then I'm going to open it up this way. And I'm going to get a craft mat out and my ruler. This is a Scorpal craft mat. I'm going to get my Tim Holtz ruler and I'm going to get my Scotch. I keep wanting to say Scotch quick dry. <laughs> this is my Scotch utility knife or craft knife. Then I'm going to go right inside this line, this mark that I made, and I'm going to go slow. And steady and I'm just going to trim away some pages or trim away the excess and every once in a while just move what I've already trimmed out of the way I found that if you try to press too hard um, or go too fast that's when you start messing up so just take a minute and there there's not that many pages in here so that should be perfect, and it is. Woohoo! You know, sometimes it, it works, and sometimes you're like, what happened? No, that one worked absolutely perfectly. So I kind of like that idea of, whoa, it's not. I kind of like the idea, come on, focus on what I want you to. How about this? There we go. So I like that idea of marking it and then opening it up um, and then trimming it off. I like that a lot. Now, of course, if we hadn't have done that, we would have had a little bit bigger of a scrap and we could have used this as a notepad because as you guys know, um, I like to use my scrap Rodea paper and make notepads because um, I use it all the time. I love this paper so much. I mean, I, I don't even want to throw this away, but it's so tiny. I can't, it's so tiny. I don't know what I could do with it. I guess, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, so I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to set it aside. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. This is, um, I forget what we made. We made, we were making a book. Oh, the, uh, the, uh, writing journal, the purple, um, the purple journal with the butterfly on the cover. I had this leftover that I cut off and I'm, I glued it together and made a little notepad. Yeah, even, so even if I wanted to use it as embellishments or whatnot, I've got it as a little notepad right here. I just think it's super cute. I just thought I'd show you that. Okay. 
So I think for now, I think that's all we're going to do with this one. Um, yeah, I, I don't know yet if I want to make that a pocket yet or not. So, basically, this one will go right here in this first um, elastic, right? Just like that. So there's your first uh, traveler's notebook. And in the metal pieces, there is all, everything is rusted in here. So um, I'm going to get this is a binder clip that I rusted. I have a video on how I rust stuff. So I'll link that below. It's called Let's Rust Some Stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of paper towel it <laughs> to get some of the loose. Um, rust stuff that's on there to try to get some of that off so that it um, doesn't get all over everything. So then I'm going to open it. And then if you don't like that rusted look, then just use a regular, you know, binder clip. No big deal. You could use a bulldog clip as well, which I will be using in another video. But anyway, I just like that rusted old look. And if you Take a minute to get that stuff off of there. Um, it looks nicer. Also, you can also, if you wanted to, you can also use matte medium and seal it so that it didn't rust all over everything. So I'm just going to stick this on here as a closure for right now um, because I'm not sure what else I want to do. Because like I told you when I made my prototype before, when I made this one, um, I didn't fully embellish it. Like, I didn't even ink some stuff. So... Um, I don't know what I want to do yet on that book, so I'm just going to leave it as is. So there's one. One down. Okay, so for this next insert, we're going to make this kind of like a folder, like a um, storage type folder. And we're going to need some pieces. Let's see. So I'm going to go ahead, I think... Actually, I think I am going to take a minute. We're going to need these two pieces up here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take a minute and cut um, everything out, mostly. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I cut everything out, except I didn't fully cut out the little bowl there that's on page 8. Nor did I cut out these two pockets yet. So I'm just going to set the things aside. I did cut everything else out, but I'm going to set the things aside that I don't need right now. Um, but I am going to use these two pieces, which are kind of like little tags. Aren't they cute? I like them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hole reinforcements on there. And we're going to use these to close up the pocket. So I really like doing this. I really think it's cute. So I'm going to put a brown hole reinforcement there and a brown hole reinforcement there. Um, before I punch it out though, I think I'm going to fold it in half and kind of like match it up. And we're going to like make it look like it's a tag on both sides. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So I'm just going to match it up. It's not crucial because you're not going to see both sides at one time, but let's see what this looks like. I guess if it doesn't turn out, then you don't have to do it. <laughs> basically <laughs> so I'm gonna put another hole reinforcement on here just like that so should I just do that for this then I'm just gonna lay this on here and punch a hole there like that oh I didn't get this one punch a hole there put a hole reinforcement on that piece Oh, but I am going to have to fold it in half. Well, shoot. Okay. Didn't save myself any time there, did I? Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is this, um, and we're going to have work. Let's see what we're going to do. We're going to flip it this way. <laughs> and then I'm going to fold this flap back of this way onto that vintage background. And I'm going to score it. I burnished it really good, and then I'm going to use these as closures, like that. Um, 
So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna take some art glitter glue. And I just happen to have a little littler bottle. And I'm just gonna put some, I'm not gonna put it all the way up to the holes. I'm not gonna put the whole thing down. I'm just gonna put part of it down. Or close part of it, I guess what I'm trying to say. So then I'm just gonna lay this on here like that. I'm gonna try to maybe center it. And I didn't do a very good job. And hold. It'll tack pretty fast, which is great. So if I wanted to, I could come back and put something in those hole reinforcements, but right now I'm not going to. All right, same thing on this side. I'm just gonna add glue into the center part there. And I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna try to match up to that top piece there. Wow, I did not do a very good job. Either that or I just got them on crooked. I don't know, it's okay. I'm not gonna stress about it. So I'm just gonna hold, hold these for a second. It should probably have already grabbed, so, which is awesome. And then I'm gonna take my Distress Ink there and I'm just gonna ink these little edges just so they blend in a little bit better. Maybe ink the edge of that so there's no white showing. All right, so that creates a perfect little like tuck spot. It's a full, oh, I said it was a full. What we got going on here? What, what happened? Did we get some seepage? I think we, did we, did we? Surely not. I think we might have got a little bit. We did. Ooh. A little bit of glucy bitch. Hmm. <laughs> we don't want glucy bitch. So, yeah. Next time, be careful, Jen. That's what you should do. Okay. So, anyway, it makes a nice little spot to tuck things. So, there's that. So we've got that. So now we're going to make a really fun little insert here. And I'm just going to ink that edge really quick. And we're going to, where is it at? Here it is. All right. So if you have a kit, you have one of these. This is a plastic folder. It's like a page protector, like a regular standard office three hole page protector. Um, that I put all the stuff in that you might use in this um, in this little traveler's notebook. So I'm just going to take these out, but we're going to use the page protector. All right, so we've got the page protector. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trim off the part over here, this little white. Yours might not be white, but I'm just going to trim it. I'm not going to trim through where it's sealed, I'm just gonna trim on the other side of that because we're gonna be using, well, we might not use that edge. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna trim that off yet. Let's see here, hold tight. So I think we'll use this edge. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Well, I do need my paper trimmer. Shoot. <laughs> I'll get it together here in just a minute. Don't you worry. Okay. I think we're going to trim it to... Um, let's see. Let's do six and seven eighths. I think that's what we're going to trim it to. Whoa. Six and seven eighths. My page protector is crooked, but that's okay. Let's trim that piece off and I'm going to stick that. You never know. We might use this for something. You just, you just never know when something like this may come in handy. Okay. So now we've got the right width. So then I'm going to turn it and then I'm going to trim it once again to that same one uh, notch 
actually, let's go a little shorter. Let's go five and three eighths. So the height of it was now five and three eighths. And we could possibly make two. Even though I didn't put two in my prototype, we could possibly make two. So let's go ahead and do that. Since I trimmed it all, let's let's make this one. What is this one? Let's make sure I'm trimming the right piece. Let's make this five and three eighths as well. Okay, I don't think we'd use that for anything, but you never know. All right, so let's see if I've got uh, both of these the same. Yep, well, pretty close. My thing needs a little crooked, but that's okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, for the one that's sealed on one side, or two sides, the one that's got uh, two sides that are sealed, I'm going to fold this in half equally, like that. I'm going to burnish this a little bit. And so on this side, right here, I think what I'm going to do, before I do anything else, I think I'm going to draw, uh, draw a half circle or something. I've got some washi tape right here. I think I'm going to draw a half circle. I hope I don't get my Sharpie on the... And then I'm going to mark it with my Sharpie. Ah, I got a little, little crazy. Because, you know, the um, hole punches won't punch through plastic very well. Like if you had a circle punch. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying that it's not fun. Oh, she's a rhymer. And this seems like the less, uh, less of a headache just to trim. I'm just trimming one side of that off, one half a circle off of one side. So there is that right there there and then on this side I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to freehand it I think I'm going to make it like a shorter pocket and I'm just going to like You'll see, I'll show you. I'm gonna go right up to that uh, edge there and I'm gonna trim that off. You can do this however you want to. So this is what I trimmed off. I trimmed that piece off of there. So now I have like a, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, like a half, like a half, well a quarter of a circle, a quarter of a half. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. So now I'm going to take the washi tape and I have the washi tape on a acetate tag and I think I'm going to use, okay, so I think I'm going to use this wider washi tape. So it's like a black and white stripe and I'm going to seal this closed. I'm going to go half on the plastic. Well, I, as best I can see. I can't see. I can't get over top to see. Half on the plastic, half off, and then I'm going to flip it over and seal it shut. Now, see, I didn't do a very good job, but I, I can't get over top of it to see. So, you see how it's kind of off, but that's okay. So then I'm going to trim this extra washi off of the bottom. Boop. So now, I have a pocket here, and I also have a pocket over here that's got like a thumb pull, so if it's a little bit shorter, it's easier to get into, right? So there's one, so this is going to go inside here, 
like that, right? So it's gonna be a little holder of sorts. And so in this one, let's see, I'm gonna fold it and, well first, should I seal the bottom up real quick? I probably should. I hope, I hope you guys, I hope, I hope, I hope I gave you enough washi tape to do this because I didn't plan this, this. I'm not, I hope I didn't need the plastic for something else. I should check. Hope, please. Okay, I checked and we didn't use the plastic in anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it for this. Oh, I just accidentally ripped. <gasps> Whoops, shoot. All right, again, half on, half off. Dang on it. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. We're going with it. We're just going with the flow. Flip it over. I didn't get it all the way to either end, but I'm not stressing. Now I'm going to fold it in a half. Like that. Like that. All right, so... I'm thinking about closing this top one and making it like a side pocket since this is closed and this is open. Let's do that. I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this piece that I messed up. Tear that end off. I'm gonna put this over here. So I'm gonna close this top part in the same way. Do I have the right side? This top part. So much. Well, here, I'm trying to go half on, half off. Probably not right again. Nope. <laughs> I just can't get that right. It's okay. So then I'm going to trim off that edge. So now I have a side pocket and a top pocket okay i'm not going to cut any notches out in it right now so we've got a top pocket here oh maybe i should fold it the other way wait a second yep. all right so then i just folded it um the other way just so there wouldn't be two top pockets right next to each other. So side pocket, top pocket, perfect. I like. Okay, so those are both, they're gonna stack. So you can make as many of these as you want. So you can see you can make two of those per sheet protector. And then we're gonna stick it in there and we're gonna paper clip it down just like we did the other one. Just like that. So you actually have a couple choices. You don't even have to sew it if you don't want to. You can just put this in the elastic um, and add as many as you want. But we're gonna sew it because, because just because. So again, I'm gonna go in the center. You can always um, cut the string after you sew it if you wanted to add more. You can always cut it off and add what you want. Okay, I'm gonna get my needle back out. And get the crochet thread back out. That was attached to my ring. <laughs> and we're gonna thread my needle. There we go. And again, I'm gonna go from the inside out, down to the bottom. Back into the inside, to the top, and then back to the middle-ish. And then again, one on either side of that middle string there. Tug to a little bit this away, and tug a little bit that away, and tie knot. You could use baker's twine if you wanted to. If you have like a black and white baker's twine, that'd be sweet. That would look cute. Um, it's a little thicker, so you'll have to make your holes a little bit thicker. But you use whatever you want. If you have green and white baker's twine, if you have 
purple and white baker's twine. If you have natural baker's twine, what else? What have you? Okay, so take the paper clips off there. And then we're going to stick this in here. Just like this. So the next string, which I think it doesn't really matter which one I use, because I think both of these folders or both of these strings were gonna house like storage type folders. I'm not sure. So we're just gonna stick that in the next string, the next elastic, right? So there is that. So like things like this washi tape could be um housed in these little plastic sleeves. So this little washi tape tag, isn't that cute? You can just stick it in there and it's ready to go, but this is actually gonna be stored in another, in a different one. So we're not gonna stick it in there. Okay, so let me see. I think I am gonna put, what other pieces did I cut? Uh, not that one, but these two. But like these, you know, you can make a bunch of these tags up ready to go if you wanted to, or the smaller tags. And just have them stored in here, you know, ready to use. So we're not going to stick that one in there, though. But we are going to put some of these little, little tiny pieces that I cut, like the bow and things, in there. And what else are we going to do? We're going to find a paper clip. This is a rusted paper clip. And I think um, I think I'm just going to use it for a closure for now. I'm not going to put anything on it. Where'd that paper towel go? Did I throw it away? But I'm actually not done. I think I'm, I'm going to do a like a label on the outside of this one. So right. So then you can just use the paper clip. Oh, yeah and keep that closed like that if you wish, but it will make it harder to put things in and out of this back pocket here. But I do wanna make a label for this. So, if you'll remember, I talked about this in the last video. This was a sheet that I put together of different elements and the two labels are actually on page 10 of the small. And I think most of these I gave you an extra if you have the kit, but if you don't, uh, it's just on page 10. So it's this label right here. Actually, let me just go ahead and trim it out. Why not? I'm going to use it as a traceable template, but I'm just going to go ahead and trim one out. I, sh I could probably just trim them both out. That way I can stick them in my little storage thingy there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Well, let me go ahead and cut these away. Like we use these on the covers, but these could be used as traceable templates. So I am going to go ahead and cut them off or cut them out, out of ca off camera. <laughs> we use this as a traceable template, but this one's in the medium and it's on page 13. Um, but I already had that one cut out, so I didn't cut it out. But um, I will, I will go ahead and cut these out. What we're going to do with this is we're going to take. Well, you could use this scrap, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use the one that we printed. Yes. This is from the covers, from the lining of the covers. So we printed the purple on the back side of the pattern paper. Um, we're going to use that. That's too small. So we're going to use this. We're going to trace on this. Oh, I guess it really matters. Um, so I'm just going to lay this on here. And trace around. All right, so now I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to cut the rest of these things out and I'm going to ink it up and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got all those pieces cut out, um, and I was good. I got it written on there correctly on the pieces. I wanted to know what page they were on, So, but what I was going to do is put them in the notebook, but I guess I could go ahead and do that. So, like, let's see. Is this the tall? 
Yeah, so this one that's got the, like, the cut-off piece right there, we can just add those in there, just like that. And then that piece is already there. The little pieces, we should probably put those in here, like that. All the little pieces. And then there's a long tag that we could use as a traceable template or as a tag, either one. Um, we can put that there. So we've got all those pieces tucked away for now. Uh, we didn't put anything in there just yet, but we, but we can. But I did want to put this here. So I'm gonna take my glue, my same glue, and I don't know if I'm gonna put anything. I might put a sticker on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go around the edges there. And then I'm gonna try to get it straight in the middle, all that jazz. Eyeballing it. You, you, most of you guys know I'm not good at that eyeballing business. <laughs> I always get it crooked. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the paper clip back on here. I wanna keep it closed so it doesn't keep flopping open. So let me grab the sticker sheets. So we already used, there's four sheets in that sticker pack. So we already used one um, right here, it says happy. So, I was thinking about maybe using one of the butterflies here. Um, not that. Just to give it a little decoration, or maybe, maybe one of these, oh, wow, some of these pictures are just beautiful. Probably, if I was going to do that, I probably should have done that before I stuck it down. Like, look at this one. Or should I look at the ephemera pieces? I don't know. Look at this one, you guys. It's so pretty. No. No, no. But I do, I think I want to do a butterfly. That one's just too much. I like maybe one of these little green butterflies. Something like that, maybe. Whoa. Or maybe having it. Oh, I don't know where to put it, you guys. <laughs> I want to add it, but I don't know where to add it to. Okay. I think here I am overthinking things. I do that a lot. Oh, you know what I could do? I could stick it on the end of my little pokey tool. That way I can get a better feel for what it's going to look like. I kind of want it to go here. Yep. I want it to go there. What do you guys think? We like? Super cute. I wonder, is there a word that maybe I can put there? Because it's kind of like a little storage, like, let's get crafty. It says it's cute. Like a little, it's like a little storage folder, you know? Um, be the game changer. I don't know what that says. That's too tiny. Love this. Beautiful. I don't know. I guess I could open the ephemera pack. I'm not sure we used any of the ephemera in anything. And I might have said that in the class. I might have said, yeah, we never used this. But I don't remember. And there's a little heart in there. But I'm going to put them back, so it's no big deal. Blessed. Friends. And just for kind of some decoration, that's all. There's a butterfly. Cute. Love. Too big. Although it's cute. Way too big. Butterfly. Bird. Coffee time. Anytime. Too big. Family. 
adored. Brilliant. I guess you can make like a little saying. Oh, that's cute. Um, nope. Nope. Happiness. That's a little too big. A little birdie. Oh, that's a hummingbird. That's cute. Dream and believe. I forgot about that. I might put something on that one. Oh, that's big. Oh. Little arrows bent. Love this. Another bird, fearless bird, a gigantic die cut, it's super cute. That's too much white on white, but you know what I could do? I could back that with something. That's a thought. Oh, and all these little hearts. I regret doing that, that's okay. Since this is so white, what if I backed it with a little bit of purple and stuck it on there? Or, 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 what if I used some of that vintage background or a coffee dyed paper? Or, <laughs> boy, I got a lot of ors, don't I? Let's see. I'm looking through my stuff here. Or we could go for the stripe. No, I need something with color. We could do the green. What would that look like? Eh. I think I might like the purple. Oh. I think I might. Okay. So. What if? What if? Oh, that's not being a piece. What if I did? purple okay I kind of like it I'm gonna tear this bottom edge I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen I have to just do it to start over or rethink this whole thing um, I'm gonna rip this again I'm going to cut the straight edge right here. Maybe I could put a real piece of washi tape there. What do you think? All right, let me ink this up real quick. like that and then there's that green washi no I kind of like it the way it is I like it all right I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down to this purple piece um, I like it not too high up this down. Let me bring this a little closer so I can see. Oh, that is so cute. I like it. So then I could do, I could write whatever I wanted there. I could write the date. I could add, I could add other little things to it if I wanted to. That's kind of Just a little, I actually like that. I like that a lot. Let me go ahead and ink this up just a little. I 
I had that stuck onto it like that. Or maybe had it at a slant. I kind of like it. Okay. Let me hold it up to where I can see it. What if I took some of this off? Again, this may not work. This may not look good. But I think it'll be cute. Yeah. I'm gluing it down. It's going. I'm just going to glue the one at the top. I like it. Wasn't even planned. Look at there. That is so cute. So now I got some green on there because I was missing a little bit of green, but I didn't want too much green. I think it turned out adorable. Can see there's green back here. Yep. You guys like? All right. We still haven't done anything. We still haven't gotten anywhere with this. We might just leave that be um, for now. Okay, guys. I think that's all we're going to do for this video. Oh, I didn't ink the uh, stitching on that. Let me go ahead and grab that really fast. Um, I think we're going to stop there. I don't think we're going to do any more embellishing just yet. Uh, but I think that actually turned out super cute way super cute and it just says love right there and i love that one with the little butterfly um the little storage uh covers traveler's notebook covers so in the next video we'll do the next two so you guys let me know what you think let me know what you think about how this is turning out give me a thumbs up if you like this video um if you haven't subscribed to my channel already go ahead and hit this little button right there and then hit the notification bell so you always get notified when I upload a video, not always, because it is a little bit unpredictable. I have no control over that. So um, you're supposed to get notified every time I upload a video. And then here's a link to my Etsy shop if you're interested in the printable templates, templates, <laughs> or the shades of color, or anything else that I have there in my Etsy shop, or you just want to check it out, go ahead and hit that button. Um, and there should be some other videos up here on the top of the screen that you may enjoy watching. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.